Hello everybody, Pug Nation here. Welcome back to another episode of Pug's Quest. In the last episode, we went ahead and destroyed my base by turning it into the inside of a giant tree. And I love it. I love it more and more and more the more time I spend down here. Especially as the vines are growing in, I think it's a really cool look. But anyways, in this episode, I'm going to go ahead and build the tree itself. So i got to go outside and actually start working on that. have a little confession for you. I actually already started working on this tree my original plan was to have another computer another account filming me from like a third person view while I built the tree and have it do a time lapse unfortunately I discovered after working on the tree for about an hour that that computer was only capable of filming at like one frame per second so yeah obviously that's not really gonna work out for us so when you guys pop into this build you're gonna see I've already been working on the tree for like an hour I apologize for that but what I'm gonna do is do some like cinematic progress updates and, and pop in every once in a while and give my commentary so without any further ado let's get up there and start building this giant tree I'm just going to keep building this tree up. I think it's looking good. My vision's coming together pretty well. I'm going to have to, like, glowstone this up. Otherwise, we're going to have mobs spawning everywhere. I can't really half slab it, I don't think, because it'll just look a little bit weird. Um, even with, like, the finished wood half slabs, I don't think that would look very good. So I'm just going to keep building it up, and uh, I'll cut back every once in a while, and you can check on my progress. So I'm building these roots out of the tree, and I just had a really neat idea with this one as I was building it. I kind of made this, like, cool little pathway in the root, and I was thinking I could have, like, an entrance into the tree, because I want to be able to live in this tree, too. I want it to be, like, my house, my base above ground. And how cool would it be to have, like, the roots lead to different areas you can go? You know what I mean? Like, so this route, I'd make it into a walkway. You can see it forms this kind of natural walkway. I could put stairs in here and have it lead to, like, some kind of harbor or a dock. I think that's a really neat idea. And I have another route over there that could be, like, some kind of scenic overlook or, or something. Uh, I really like it. It kind of feels like, kind of feels like Mist. Y'all remember Mist? How awesome that game was? It has kind of that vibe going for it. I really like it. So I think I'm going to keep that in mind as I continue to build the root structure. But otherwise, I'm going to keep at it, guys. Boy, I'll tell you what. This is quickly turning into, like, a mega, mega, super-duper project. I've already had to cut away a few times from my work here to go out on that island, which is where I'm farming all of these logs. I mean, I've literally spent, like, ten hours just getting logs and logs and logs. So many logs. And I realized, like, it's kind of tough. I gotta, at some point, decide I'm gonna stop building the tree up. And I think this is where I'm going to do it. This is, like, a giant tree branch. And I think this is gonna be, like, a, a kind of a short, fat tree when the branches are gonna go out pretty wide at the top. Uh, you'll see what I mean, but I can't really build it too much higher because I'm honestly just running out of patience with uh, uh, farming logs. Like, I mean, this this thing could take me, like, two days to build if I if I don't if I don't just suck it up and decide I'm gonna stop building it up here but I think it looks pretty neat I'll go into uh, creative mode just to get some cool camera shots for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about Oh, so the tree continues. I love it so far. I'm absolutely in love with it. It is like exactly what I wanted my vision to be. And I've actually come up with some cool ideas as I'm building it, like having the roots be walkways out of the tree. I love that. I think that's pretty sweet. I'm going to have another root coming off here, and I imagine this kind of will be like a bay village area or something. Leave your comments down below if you'd like to see something else in this little bay area. But now I'm going to start building the root out of the tree. This might end up being like the main entrance into my basin. Wow, look how impressive this is. So far I have three side entrances. I've got this one that goes off to what I imagine will just be a nice viewing platform because it's beautiful out here. 
And I've got this one over here, which is going to lead down to like docks or something, I think, because it goes right down to the ocean. Might have like a harbor here, something like that. I think that's pretty cool. And another entrance, which you've probably seen in my flyby cinematics. This might be another kind of main entrance that, I don't know, I'm going to have a walkway, I think, that hugs the coast this way that goes under that rail track, maybe. I like the way that's going to look. And here will probably be the main entrance again, as I said, which I am making right now, which is going to lead down to my village or something. But all right, let's get back to work. This thing is a beast. This project is massive. Oh, my gosh. If I known it would have taken so long, I think I would have made a smaller tree, but I, I'm cool with it. It's a nice, impressive-looking build. I don't think I've ever built anything this impressive, actually. Any one single build that's this impressive, that is. So this is cool. I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are, too. And I, I can't wait to see the finished product. I'm sure you can't either. Welp, I'm on top of the tree. That's the main entrance that I just built down there. I think it came out great. And I've started to add a third branch and the second branch there. And I'm probably going to have a couple more branches, I think. But right now, I am on top of the tree, seeing how high I want it to go. And this is kind of a problem. I didn't bring any sand or even any water blocks with me, so I got to kind of uh, slowly work my way back down and just see. I'm curious to see how that looks, how high I want the tree to go. Uh, let's see. Will I survive that? Uh, yep. Okay. And that? Okay, I got to slow down now. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that's a good lesson. I gotta bring a water source block up there so I don't have to keep killing myself on the way down. Uh, oh, yeah. Now we're like parkouring on the way down. So, yeah, I like this. This is like a neat main entrance. I'll make some kind of doorway or whatever, and this will be some kind of village down here or something. I, I'm not sure yet what I want to make it, but it's a big, wide, flat, open area. These reeds, of course, are gonna go away. They don't need to stay there, but. I'm just curious, how does that look? Does that look halfway decent? The height, that is? I think so. I think that's kind of... I'm going to start having the tree getting less and less thick as more and more branches come off, have most of the mass of the tree branch away. And I think that's as high as I'm going to build it. I think so. All right, well, back to work. All right, I'm really making progress. I am really making progress. It's slow. It's taking forever. This is like a mega build, but it's coming. These are just going to be like uh, the supports where the leaves are going to go on. Because, of course, this whole thing also needs leaves, which I, I'm not even... Oh, God, I can't even imagine putting all the leaves on. It's going to involve a lot of, like, water scaffolding, which is why I have my water bucket here. And I need to farm a bunch of leaves. I only have, like, ten stacks of leaves, which sounds like a lot, but for the size of this giant tree, not nearly enough. So, yeah, these are the branches, and these will also be rooms. Like, can you imagine this is, like, a bedroom, or maybe I could put an enchanting table in here, or a potion stand. You know, whatever. These are the rooms of the house, the giant tree house. And these pillars here are just what I'm going to use to, uh hide the leaves, or rather to hang the leaves off of. Gives it a nice little support structure for that. But you know what? I'm about wrapping this up, actually. Uh, at least this phase of the build. I still have to... That's going to be the highest branch of the tree, I think, or rather that pinnacle up there. Uh, and I just have to basically close off the tree so that the top isn't open like that. So maybe a couple more branches up top to make it look more natural. But then it's just time to start adding the foliage. And then we can call it done, at least the actual structure of the tree done. I still have to decorate, and I think that will be the subject of part three of the giant tree build. will probably be all the decoration and uh, filling everything out. But, all right, guys, I just wanted to hop in real quick to give you a quick update of where I am. I can't believe, I actually haven't died yet, which is kind of a miracle. I haven't fallen off this thing yet. But, of course, now that I've pointed it out, I'm sure I will. But anyways, I gotta get back to work and I will pop in and give you an update. Oh, 
man, just about done. Just about done putting the roof on. And then this thing is done. Well, I should say the meat of it is done. Then I have to do what it might arguably be even more annoying, which is putting all the leaves on. But let's just say, boom, that's the last piece of wood that's going to go on this entire thing. And now let's check out our design. So this is the highest room in the entire thing. And I have what will eventually be a staircase heading down here. And here's another room which comes out here with a lovely view. And it leads to several other rooms out here. There's a branch that goes that way. There's a branch that goes up this way, over here, and still another branch that goes out this way. So it's got quite a few rooms, all with just, like, amazing, awesome views. And this staircase, which uh, I, I have to put some wooden stairs in right now. I just have to jump up and down for every single one, which is a little bit annoying. Like, on my way back up, I mean. But it goes all the way back down to the ground, kind of spirals around. I think this is pretty cool. I gotta be careful in here because I didn't light it up very well and lots of mobs have been spawning in here because I haven't really done a good job lighting things up. But boom! And now you're down to ground level. And yeah, I think I'm gonna put some like glowstone up there to make it less dark and make it look kind of neater. But yeah, no, the, the trunk of the tree is done. The entrance is pretty much done and it just looks sweet. It is so imposing. And it's probably like the single biggest thing I've ever built. And I've spent hours and hours and hours working on this thing. And it has been incredibly, incredibly annoying. Lots of water scaffolding. And that's not even counting the hours and hours and hours I spent tree farming. I have no idea how many blocks of wood this is. I mean, it must have been... Th uh, like a thousand. I mean, it had to have been easily. And oh my god, these are the only leaves I have. <laughs> oh no! Oh, so apparently I have to do a lot more tree farming because I didn't realize I only have two stacks of leaves. Oh. But anyways, I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I'm loving it. All right, I'm going to go out to my tree farm island over here. And I'm going to keep farming leaves. And then I'm going to show you all the finished product. Oh man, that's sweet! All right, I am all done, like 20 hours later. <laughs> oh God, this took so long. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to show you any of the putting the leaves on. You could probably imagine. It was a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of water scaffolding and annoyingness, but I love it. I love the way it turned out. I think it's great. Um, I'm probably going to do some fly-by camera angles while you guys are listening to my extremely tired voice try to explain what I did. <laughs> I'll just let you, you know what, I'll just let you drink it in. Drink in the beauty that is this giant tree that I made in it. Wow, it took forever, guys. I really hope you like it. If you did, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And let me know what you think. This is probably the longest I've ever spent building one single thing. I mean, well, I'm exhausted. But, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to save the decorating of the inside like you're looking at right now. It's really ugly and kind of crazy. Like, this floor is obviously not going to be grass. Um... And I'm going to start furnishing the rooms that are up there. And, oh, it's looking cool now that the vines are starting to grow in. But I'm going to save that for the next episode, part three of the tree build. Stay tuned for that. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you have seen here. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I will see you all very soon.